Hello boys and girls, what's going on? Zach here in my basement doing another video. Um, for those of you who are like, Zach, why are you wearing a jacket? Well, it's because I'm doing a double exposure B-roll-esque segment uh, for my latest film, short film, movie um, about my cross Canada trip. I don't know what the title is because um, I haven't finished it yet, but I thought you guys might be interested in seeing how to do like a sort of double exposure effect um, really quickly, super simply. It doesn't take too much to achieve this effect and uh, I've been able to really pull it off by using like two things. Uh, first of all, what you need is a white backdrop. Now I'm using like my TV projector screen as the white backdrop. You could do like exterior shoot just with the sky behind you. You can even do a super simple one which is shooting your uh, computer screen with a white backdrop and then putting something in front of that white backdrop to achieve the same effect. Now the only thing you need to know about that white backdrop is that it needs to be like pure white. So what I've done is I've applied a ton of different lighting sources, whatever I could sort of scrounge up uh, to achieve this effect. So I just blasted it with light because then the second part of this whole thing that I'm doing is uh, you need a shadowy figure in the foreground. Um, now that's the that's the key part of this ingredient. The both need to contrast from each other. So for this I have a like black camera in front of a white backdrop and that's how you're able to achieve that effect I'm using my black jacket and my black sweater. The lighter the tone, the more it's going to blend in with the background, the less the effect is going to show up. Now the cool thing is whenever you have sort of like this mid-tone like where if it's off the backdrop a little bit, what you can achieve is like a nice highlighted so you're able to get some texture. Playing around with the lighting so like that in between kind of gray zone of lighting and that's how you can get more texture in whatever figure you're trying to capture on screen. Now the vast majority of this shooting really isn't too too difficult. The fun stuff gets in post with like a one click solution. So let's get into post, let's talk about it and uh, I'll show you how this effect is actually done. Okay, so let's segue over to post-production. You've captured your footage, you've done the awkward slight rotations, and you've figured out all of your stuff. Drag and drop it into your editing software of choice, mine being Premiere Pro. Once you have your footage in, drag and drop it into your timeline. Now, there are a couple kinks that you might have to sort of work through. Um, mine, for instance, was uh, I had some areas of like shadow in the corner of like my lighting setup. Some of my lights were popping into the shot. And uh, what I had to do was actually add a bit of a mask. Now. Don't have any fear. I know masks can be scary, but since the fact that the, that's funny, masks are scary because it's the Halloween, I don't know. Doing some masks and tracking masks in Premiere can be a little bit uh, daunting, but you don't have to do any tracking. All you have to do is create simple masks or mats around your footage. So for me, I had to sort of mask out a bit of the shadowing around the edging because I knew that was going to blend through when I started applying a different blend mode. Now you're like, Zach, what the hell? There's this weird black blobby frame around my shot create a new color mat, choose white, and drag and drop that underneath your shot. Now to avoid any sort of weird harsh edging, what I did was I added a feather to my mat that I applied onto my coverage, and now Bob's your uncle, you have a beautifully matted shot. Now this is great, let's say if you don't have a big white projector screen behind you or a nice big backdrop, as long as your subject is sort of within the radius of just pure white, you can create masks depending on how big your frame was and then uh, apply a color mat below that mask. Next, what I want you to do is nest those two shots together. So now it's just like one really epic shot. Now you can do some animation keyframes as well as applying your blend mode. Now put this shot to the side for just a few seconds. What we're gonna do now is grab the shot that we want to blend into or to double exposure eyes. Find the shot, which I have is these beautiful shots of nature. I think nature translates really well. You probably don't wanna have shots of other people within it because it just probably will feel weird, but definitely experiment, try it out. Find the shot that you want to do this with. Then what you want to do is take your double exposure shot uh, and put it over top of this footage. So you have double exposure footage and your and your your the shot that you want exposurized. Go into your blend mode of your double exposure plate and click into screen mode. And now, haha! Look at the look at the way it looks. It's so cool, right? 
And you can definitely get creative with this from this point forward. You can do some like keyframing, so maybe to scale in your image, like one of the opening shots of my short film that I did, I did this nice, nice like zoom in. Uh, to the shot and therefore it just kind of like brought us into the scene. Um, so there's definitely a lot of different like editing magic that you can do with keyframes, but this is basically the bare bones. Um, I had a lot of fun with this effect. I'll probably do this much more in future projects. I think it's a really great uh, asset to have on a on my toolkit for editing, for shooting, to tell stories. Um, so hopefully this video provided you as much value as it did for me for creating it. For those of you who have maybe some more questions or want to learn a little bit more about this or maybe you didn't get enough out of this, uh, write that in the comment section below and click on to the blog post that's attached to this. I sort of write down my steps on how I achieve this effect. Uh, so you can go on to premiumbeat.com and check out the blog that I created. Again, links in the description. Um, that's it. That's all. Thanks for taking a peek at this video. If you like what I'm talking about, like what I'm babbling on, you also can subscribe to the content that Premium Beat is creating. There's a lot of amazing stuff from some super incredible creators. Um, and that's it. I'll see you all later. Double exposure. Expose your... Bye.